Welcome to Night City. They don't believe in no fate. Uh, every day digging the grave. Uh, stepping up here with the stakes. Uh, city of dreams, city of dreams. In a huge open world like Night City, you need a chill ride to get around fast. And in Cyberpunk 2077, there are tons of cool vehicles to choose from. Get this! Four liter engine, six cylinder, goes from zero to 103.2 seconds. You fucking believe that? We've crafted every car and motorbike with amazing attention to detail. On the chassis, the body, not to mention the interiors. You can expect everyone not only to look unique, but to deliver a unique driving experience. All right, show me what you got. Absolutely, uh, depending on uh, the variation of the car that you're uh, either buying or stealing, depending on your flavor. Uh, yeah, you'll notice that they don't just look different. Uh, but they'll also drive different and feel different. If you're buying or stealing uh, a nice fancy looking sports color version of a car, you'll notice that it drives you know, faster, sounds a little bit more punchy and sporty than, for example, a junkier version of that same car. You know, it can have solar panels tied to the roof or some other pipes that are hot wiring some other you know, cyberpunk components in your car. And uh, well, you know, if it looks cheap, it probably drives cheap too. So it seems that not only do the cars uh, look good on the outside, but there's an awful lot of detail on the inside as well. Things like the dashboard. So can you tell us more about that? Because I know if you find a Quadra Type 66 in the city, it's going to look totally different from the Quadra Type 66 that the gangs are driving out in the Badlands, both outside and inside. Yep. Definitely. If you were about to steal a very nice high-end car, for example, uh, when you get in, you'll see the dashboard light up nicely. You'll see your dial indicators revving a little bit. But that may not exist for a junk version at all. It may have the dashboard ripped out completely. No matter what your flavor is, you'll, you'll find something that suits your needs. So what about racing then? Will there be racing? Because I know people have been asking. Yes, we're absolutely going to have several races in the game different locations, if you know you're going to be driving in the Badlands. Maybe bring a Nomad car, because it's just built to driving in the Badlands. But if you know you're going to be racing in Night City, just bring the hottest wheels you've got, because you're going to need all the power you can get. No matter where you're racing, though, you need to bring a gun, because this is Night City and you never know what's going to happen. Okay, so you talk about bringing cars then. Let's talk about like storing and calling cars, because we know people can steal them. But what if somebody's found a car and they absolutely love this particular one? Is there a way for players to kind of build that collection? And then how do they actually, you know, summon them? Well, uh, summoning cars works pretty much the same as you would summon Roach in The Witcher 3. Your transportation may or may not show up on a roof somewhere. Uh, but, you know, we're still working on fixing some bugs here and there. But yeah, if there's a car that you really, really like very much, if you can't wait to own a Quadra or a Type 66, you'll get a message from your fixer and says, hey, got a Quadra for sale for you, you want to buy it? All you have to do is drive over, pay the money, and you've got your very own Quadra. Not to mention that every single vehicle that you buy, every single player vehicle, is absolutely unique in every way. It's got a unique interior, unique exterior, paint job. Um, you know, it'll sound different, but it'll also handle different. So in the video, we did mention there was space for a true automotive icon. Uh, do you want to reveal uh, what that actually is? Of course, the, the car in question here is uh, Johnny Silverhand's car. And Johnny Silverhand is, well, he's a big rocker boy and he needs some wheels to match. So we gave him a 911 Porsche from 1977, which means in 2077, Johnny's car is going to be exactly 100 years old. Well, Paul, thank you so much for your time today. Personally, I think I'm going to try and balance being a super cool badass mercenary and driving a Mai Mai, because I love that little car. I think I could do it, right? I could be cool and in a Mai Mai. Definitely. Mai Mai is absolutely cool, as long as you stay on the road and not on the sidewalk. <laughs> I'll, I'll try my very best. We'll see. Yeah. Duh. Because before they put a bullet in you, you'll make this whole city burn. Cyberpunk 2077. 
for your order now. 